In the picturesque Swiss town of Lugano, scientist Jürgen Schmidhuber works toward revolution. If he's successful, the world will never be the same. All of this is going to be much more than just another industrial revolution. This is going to be something that transcends humankind itself and even biology itself. Schmidhuber is an AI pioneer. His goal, to create artificial intelligence radically smarter than humans. He's helped develop the algorithms that define the field as we know it now. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is what makes Siri respond to your commands. Here's what I found. And enables Google to translate. What do we have here? This is a Inside Schmidhuber's labs, AI pushes beyond that. Cars teach themselves to park. When you now move your head, then it is going to follow, and you can direct it. Drones learn to follow humans. I go forward, I go backward. AI even teaches itself to run. The important thing is there's no teacher. And what you see there, it's trying all kinds of things. And in the beginning, it's a total failure. And the goal is just to maximize the distance covered. The next step, developing robots which can teach themselves to perform simple tasks. Still, none of this comes close to super intelligence. These are mobile platforms. Schmidhuber believes it can be achieved in mere decades. So there are those who are skeptical who say that actually AI could very well enter another sort of deep freeze period where nothing happens. At the moment, I don't see that as a possibility at all because all the tendencies that I observe in my own lab, in other labs, the general hardware acceleration, tell me another story. Other leaders in the field agree. Nick Bostrom is the director of the Future Humanity Institute at Oxford University. I think it will affect all aspects of our lives, all segments of the economy. He worries not enough is being done to prepare for the potential dangers. Given your research, given everything you know so far, are you optimistic about the future of humanity? I think this transition to the machine superintelligence era will be associated with some significant risk, in including these existential risks of, of human extinction and such. But um, on the other side, and, and this often get, doesn't get as much sort of airtime, but I think there is this enormous upside. Schmidhuber says he's confident the enormous upside will prevail, but he admits it's like playing with fire. We have to be aware of the potential dangers of fire, but we are not going to stop the further development of fire because the pros outweigh the cons so much. It may be unpredictable, but Schmidhuber and others agree. When it comes to AI, the match has been struck. Aaron McLaughlin, CNN, Lugano, Switzerland.